what I like to do is show you how to find a um, find a line that is goes through the point negative six negative six and is parallel to the line y equals four thirds x plus eight. Now, when doing this problem, I think it's always helpful just to at least draw a, a graph if you can, and just to kind of get an idea of what we're talking about. So, we'll kind of make a nice little picture over here. And if I had a uh, y-intercept of eight, so I go up eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's telling me to go up four, one, two, three, four, go over three, one, two, three. Okay, so what we have is we have a parallel point, right? And it needs to go through the point negative six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and down six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I didn't really do a good point there, but I have to have a parallel line that's gonna go through that point. So therefore, remember parallel lines are lines that are never going to touch, they're parallel with each other. So when they're parallel with each other, that means they have the exact same slope. So let's write what our equation is going to look like. It's going to be y equals mx plus b, where b is going to represent our slope, and or m represents our slope, and b is going to represent our y-intercept. So therefore, we have one equation, where y equals a 4 thirds x plus 8. Okay. So therefore, if I want to find a parallel line to it, I know it has to have the exact same slope. right? So y equals 4 thirds x plus b. Now, why didn't I write 8? Well, guys, this is across the 8. Do you notice that it goes to this point? Now, I, like I said, I just sketched this graph. It can't go through 8 again. It's going to have a new y-intercept, which is b. So we need to determine a way. How can we figure out what our new y-intercept is? Well, we have a y and an x, and we also have a point. Since it has to go through this point, we can say that this graph is true when I plug in these two points for our new y-intercept. So all I need to do is, I plug in my x and my y, in for x and y, of my point, and then I solve for b. So therefore, to solve a fraction times a negative six, four times negative six is a negative 24. Uh, negative 24 divided by three is eight. So I get negative six equals a negative eight plus b. Yeah, I'm just making one. So all I gotta do now here is add my eight, and what I have is 2 is equal to b. So therefore, I write that as my y-intercept. I keep the same slope, 4 thirds x plus 2 as my new y-intercept.